another great day coming to an end. It was over 110 degrees outside. I still want to say it's about maybe 85, but it is a lot cooler now than it was earlier this afternoon. Good gosh. We got some awesome clouds in the sky. This one was shooting out lightning before. Let's see if we could catch some. Pretty print pink. Full moon, so that means must mean the crazies all are out tonight. So be careful, y'all. It's very, very bad. <laughs> you get a lot of crazy people at night when there's a full moon. You got like a pretty mushroom looking cloud. In my in my view, you can see the rainbow is kind of like blue and but on my portion, on where my eyes can see, it's, it's blue, light blue, yellow, green, and pink. Probably like a lightning cloud, heat lightning cloud, as they call it in Florida. Heat lightning. It's still lightning in the sky. <laughs> That's what my friends in Florida, down in Naples, call it heat lightning. Some weird characters today. This one is a dog, looks like a little dog, got a tongue, muzzle, two eyes, flappy ears, one right, one left, with his little buddy behind him. I don't know what it is, either a human or a frog. Looks like a mean dog on the other side of him. <laughs> they're busting out, they're busting out. clean, beautiful cage. I think I'm going to start collecting me some crickets and selling them online. I got a lot of big juicy crickets and they seem that they gave birth inside of her house. So I did give her new hay. I shook out all her her blankets in there. She has like three layers of blankets and then a, a top sheet. A king size top sheet and I also wrap it up with this plastic only because when it rains at nighttime it doesn't go into the house because it does have some holes remember I, someone gave me this house for free way before I got beautiful <clears throat> I've been working with her I think I'm gonna try to see if I could get someone to come and adopt her out of course there will be a application background check with a uh, at the local sheriff's department in Burke County and Richmond County or whatever county you come from and there will be a um, adoption fee for her she is spaded she's a beautiful dog she's good with kids she's good with other dogs um, but she does have a food aggression and I've been working on it but she needs to be fed by herself because she'll guard it she'll guard it and I would recommend to keep her name beautiful because that's what she is. She's a beautiful dog. She deserves a good home. I wish I had room in my RV. I would, you know, I mean, I've been working with her. She doesn't even, she looks at the RV as not a house. I don't know what she looks at it as, but she's very skeptical about coming inside. So she is. If she's going to be an outside dog, she has to be set up in shade, definitely kept on the chain, in a nice kennel with shade, water and food, but she needs to be loved too. You can't just leave her outside all day long because she will find a way to break out and go. My garden is really suffering. I'm just picking... We cut back. We did. Uh, he, my husband, worked very hard out here and uh, cleaned out the garden. There was a lot of weeds, and I seen that he came in here and did what he can. And I should have picked these plants. Like this one needs to be picked. I need to start harvesting this. This one, this branch here, literally has been cross germinated. Uh, this one has been. See how they get these buds. For some reason, the fruit changes once they get this on there. So I'm going to harvest this one tomorrow. This one is, is already almost at the drying stage. Harvest this. This one could go in the trash. I'm going to harvest this. 
this ha is covered with these. I'm going to harvest when I, what I can. And this is going to be harvested. And this is, this, this is fine. This one was the, um, the rosemary. This one is fine. It doesn't really get cross germinated because it looks like pine needles. That one's going to get, everything in here is basically going to come out. When it comes out, I'm going to take my pig manure. I'm going to work it all in the ground, with, till it up, and uh, sprinkle some lime. And this area is basically done. We're not going to do our garden next year on this. Next year's garden is going to be where the grassy area is. I like to try to get it all the way up to the back of my shed, but my husband has to clean up his his mess he's been collecting. Even though the mess works, I just don't have any room for a washing machine or a dryer. Um, the barbecue we use, the rest of them is just flower pots, gas cans, you know, but I need it gone. I'm tired of looking at it, <laughs> to be honest with you. The, pep, um, the cucumbers, they're basically done. I just harvested a lot. A lot of them in the last couple of days. The tomatoes, they're almost done. I got three, like 10 or 15 left on the vine, so I'm letting them play out, do their thing. Um, this whole row is just starting to blossom and bloom. Late bloomers, this whole row. I got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 that still needs to um, be processed once they turn their colors. I'll process them and rip out the plants there. These will be the only ones left, which will be easy to water down. All the collards are going to go. The cucumbers are basically done. I have a lot of issues because... Um, a lot of the cucumbers are turning yellow. They started off pretty good and then white and they're very soft already. So then it's no good. I can't do nothing with this. There's no, barely any seeds either. So guess what? I just chuck it in there to the animals back there. They're coming out here anyway and destroying the fields. Yeah, you're welcome. I hope I didn't hit nobody back there. This is also a big issue out here. Either you get too much sun, um, too much water, too much sun, or not enough at all. And I mean, good gosh, we could spend all day and night out here watering. It doesn't make a difference. This sand, it's sand and it's very dry. Very dry. But when we plant the seeds, it's very wet. So it's hard to say, you know, and the climate's just going crazy. Um... There is some corn that's growing great out here. There's some corn that's not growing great. And the ones that are not growing at all, I pick them out and I give them to the pigs. They love it. They love it. They love it. They love it. These are the collards that we grow out here. My pigs don't eat it. They look at me like, lady, what's this? And these are really turning. These are really bad shape. You got uh, bugs out here eating it, you know. Uh, these bugs literally will destroy your crop. You know, it's a lot to do by yourself. And especially when you have one helper basically gone. And you can probably see the little black bugs there. I mean, that's, that's totally gone. This was a broccoli. It's not growing. The stalks for the sunflowers, they're going to be coming out soon. Um, the banana, we added more soil around it. I got to dig out that baby pup, transplant her somewhere else on this property, and then we're going to irrigate the whole soil around her circumference so she could grow a lot better. And then all this got to be cut down. This is weeds. We didn't get that far. And then that last sunflower that there is, look at how big that mosquito is. It's time to go in because the critters of the night, like I tell you, and they're big critters out here. They come out. This is another pup of that sunflower seed. Uh, that sunflower seed, excuse me. That banana tree. And that's a banana tree from Florida. And that banana tree is a pup from an original mama tree that was sprouting already fruit from it. Which is bananas. The, tomorrow I'm going to make a video on harvesting the sweet potato. Because that got to come out. And then I'm very disappointed with this sunflower. It's, it's abnormal. 
There's bugs all over it, defending their territory. And I don't think I'm going to get anything from it. It needs to be harvested. I was going to wait, but it needs to come down. And then just with these stalks, we'll just cut them, you know, pull them out, cut them off the bottom, and use the whole stalk as a walking stick. One for me, one for my husband, and one for my 14-year-old uh, kid. And other than that, peppers, I got some good peppers in the house. I'm really surprised this pepper plant has been taken off like crazy. Um, when we first got it, this is the plant with the black, the black, green and black pepper. Excuse me, I'm tongue tied right now. And this plant, I just harvest one, I harvested. It's up in the shed, but I don't think I'm gonna get any more from it. Now this one I was talking so bad about, I said I don't think she's gonna produce me any more from here I only got that purple that red one and I got one here and it looks deep but it doesn't it doesn't have any holes on it then I got me another one here that's two then I got this big huge humongous one that's three and tomorrow I'm going to cut back uh, this tree too then I got one all the way in the far back growing that's four you see it four and I thought there was one more down here yeah there is look right there it's hiding you can't see it there's one five on this one tree and I said I don't think she's gonna grow back for me I only got that red pepper and that one had the black pepper I've never seen no black pepper before in my life it wasn't ruined by no animals it was just a black pepper it's very weird so I did collect the seeds out of that black pepper and next year, when we get the garden, I'm going to put the seeds in the ground and see what we get back. Because I think it was a, cross, a, a bad seed and it just cross-germinated. All this needs to be cut down. This is where the tree logs were. The big toad, which she, she was living right there, and she vacated her premises. I don't know where she went to. My husband's down there attaching barbed wire. We're running the line up. It's about time we're just going to run it. It is what it is. If it's over too much, figure that out when the time comes. Because I want to I wanna put more bamboo out here. And I can't put bamboo when it's exposed open in another area. And these people will have to really walk inland from that oak tree all the way into where he's at and cross over barbed wire. And we would like to run the rest of the string all the way down to as far as we can. And then eventually... When I come up with some money, it's about like six, six grand, I think the guy told us. We will have to get a professional guy down there where the woods are at. You can see it where the green, where the all the green crap is, and get a machine back there and clear it out all the way to the tree line so we could get what we need to get for the bamboo and to start planting them because it's time that we're wasting. We have a lot of time right now with COVID-19. I don't have to be around anyone. Just go in, get the bamboo, load it up in my truck and transport it back to my house, put it in the holes and call it a day. But right now at 110 degrees, it is too much for these bamboo trees. And when I got to get them, they're in the shade. So they're not used to being in full sun. But most of the bamboo has grown back. I have harvested a lot of bamboo. I'm gonna, I got me a wood chipper, which I'm gonna start chipping down wood eventually and when I get a lot more, cause it's, it's I have a lot, but it's, I need a lot more. These are all bamboo sprouts growing back. Bamboo, bamboo, and bamboo. And around here we have to do it with the hand, the hand weed whacker, because you could cut your bamboo and not even realize. And I know I cut a couple of them by accident. There's also bamboo. And this tree basically died, but you can see a new bamboo coming back on it. I had over 400 plants out here, but we did harvest it, and, and now the bamboo is coming back as sprouts, so it's very hard to see what we have here. The top part is just for show. The top part is not your, it's your money tree, but it's for show for people out here. This is bamboo. Pretty big, huh? And this is the same exact replica of this mama tree, just like the banana trees. 
This one is dead. It could go. It could get chopped down. It doesn't even have a sprout next to it, but I'm not worried about it. I could just replace it with another tree. This one was dead, but now it's growing back too. This is a sprout. Oh, I have to be appreciative of what I got. God gave me this land. Now I'm going to work this land. My parents, my mother and stepfather can't understand why I'm out here in the country. Well, when the shit hits the fan in the city, don't come up here. Shit up here. Um, when the shit hits the fan in the city. <laughs> this is also bamboo. This is also bamboo. And Green Steel USA LLC is a timber company which we commercially grow Japanese timber. Green for the bamboo. This is bamboo right here too. And you gotta be very careful when I walk out here because bamboo is everywhere just because the mama tree was harvested. Like it gets harvested, like it gets cut down when it's dead and it goes through science to tell you that I'm dying. It's time for me to be harvested before it turns brown. But when I turn it to a greenish brown because I'm cutting it down for mulch or I'm using it in my garden for sticks. I'm using it for a couple things first before because the top part is not my money trees. Those sprouts are my money trees. And it takes five years for them to just produce to the the size you need to get it harvest down to make the money commercially. But again, for a green, it's for the bamboo steel because the bamboo is hard like steel. And um, USA because it's here in the USA and LLC because it is a limited liability company. I'm not in any competition out here. But hopefully COVID-19 will be gone by the time January comes where I can start harvesting these bamboos again and getting them in the ground so they'll be ready for uh, spring 2021. And I want to have my whole field filled. I want to have at least 5,000 trees out there by the time I'm done. By the time I'm done, I want to have 5,000 trees out there. And I want to have this whole area, some parts, like maybe, I don't know, like maybe right up to this line straight back. We're going to keep it as a barrier island. We're not touching these areas. Even the front, we're not touching these areas because you don't want people from outside on the street to look in. The only way they can see in is by flying above you. And these are the bamboos that we harvested. Okay, have a great day, peoples. Bye.